talked to a number of people on the Surface team over the last few months, and the decision to hinder their beautiful new piece of hardware still boggles the mind. The Surface laptop is really nice, in fact, it's quite possibly the best piece of hardware to carry the Surface name. But for some reason Microsoft saw fit to use the product to showcase Windows 10s, a stripped-down version of its operating system targeted primarily at schools. Microsoft has since told me it recognizes that the laptop's messaging was confusing. Launching the device at an education event made it look like the company was releasing a $999 Chromebook competitor. And it told me back in late May that a version of the laptop with full Windows 10 is coming at some point. Meantime, it's waiving the upgrade fee through the end of the year. Windows 10s is defined mostly by its limitations, it's a lockdown version of the operating system, most notably in the case of apps, which are limited to what you download from the Windows Store. It kind of feels like Windows Phone all over again. It's easy to see why teachers might embrace those restrictions, it keeps students focused and weeds out potentially malicious apps. It's also clear how Windows 10s is useful on those new $189 education systems that were launched alongside the operating system. It puts less of a strain on the system, so you'll get more out of low-end devices. But the Surface Laptop is not that. It's a very good and nice device. It's the first Surface device that can't truly be considered a MacBook competitor. Just the other week. I was reviewing the new Surface Pro and lamenting the fact that it wasn't the laptop. And now I have one in my possession and stand by that statement. The device takes the lessons learned from previous Surface products and applies them to a more familiar and universal form factor. Sure, there are things you can't do on the laptop that are standard fare for other surfaces. The screen doesn't detach and it can be open 180 degrees. So if you're in the relative minority that relies on the Surface Pen, this isn't the form factor for you. The screen is quite nice, too. I don't find touch to be super easy to use in a laptop form factor, but no one's going to argue with offering up the option, well, aside from Apple, I guess. Like the MacBook, the port situation leaves something to be desired, you get power, headphones, mini display and one USB 3.0 port. It's clear the company put a lot of thought into the product, and along with recent additions, it represents the ongoing evolution of the Surface line from proof-of-concept Windows devices to some of the best products in their class. For more information, please follow the link below the video.